All right, we got the last song. Somebody save me. Daddy? Huh? Daddy? Get by here when she gets... Come eat! I'm tired. Just come eat! I may not be in there a minute, I promise. Stop. Well, then wake up! Shut the door. Somebody save me! Me from myself! I spent so long living in hell. Another pill as I start the spiral Message to my daughters, I don't even deserve the father title Haley, I'm so sorry, I know I wasn't there for your first guitar recital Didn't walk you down the aisle Missed the birth of your first child Your first podcast, looking down Sweetie, I'm so proud of how you turned out Sorry that I chose drugs and put them above you Sorry that I didn't love you enough to Give them up how to fuck to I not love you more than a pill looking up to the ceiling from this floor on the wheel Somebody save me Me from myself Shout out to Jelly Roll Has been so long Living in hell They say my That you had to hear me fall in the bathroom Sorry that I missed you gradu Wait, Nate, I should just congratulate you On being a dad too Carter and Liam look at you Little bro, sorry I left you Sorry that I'll never get to Hold a hug, my little nephews Stevie, I'm sorry I missed you Grow up and I didn't get to Be the dad I wanted to be to you Things I wanted to see you do This is my song from me to you Sorry I came up, but I'm just so defeated God, what the fuck you want me to do? Somebody save me Me from myself I spent so long Living in hell They say my lifestyle Is bad for my health It's the only thing Seems to fail. I've been staring at the video of Haley almost daily of her playing the guitar in hopes maybe that'll give me the power to fight. But the addict did me some coward. He told me that I can't do it. Had a second chance, blew it. It's like I'm stuck inside an alternate reality. But I know I'll turn it around and be able to walk her and Laney one day to the altar as proud as can be. Right now I'm just weak as I fall further down in this deep hole and farther in the ground that I sink As they lower me in my coffin I feel the tears all falling down on my cheek Yo, that's the end, man. That's the album. Now we gonna talk about how I feel now that I heard the album. Off the rip, first listen. I don't think it's a immaculate Eminem album. But, you feel me? The thing with that is, though, it's very hard to really rate M album. Because you're comparing everything to the first three and them shits is literally unbeatable so it's like anything that don't compare to that shit is just not gonna be a great album because like recovery is fire kamikaze fire um i mean relapse is cool like 
the voices it should be killing me like it's songs on there that i like but like the different voices and shit that should be killing me i never listened to revival my friends told me not to listen to that shit <laughs> they said don't even do it um music to be murdered by i ain't really listened to that either if y'all want to see me react to that or react to revival leave a like and let me know um even if you want me to react to songs of those albums let me know i got a song off um um music to be murdered by that i gotta react to that shit with dj premiere that shit oh my god i heard a little bit of it that shit sounded stupid fire but yeah like it's kind of hard to judge like m albums because it's like bro you're just matching it up to those first three and that shit is difficult like i don't know if there's any other artist that you could really say that about like came out with three straight fucking bangers like classic album it's like everything after that you're not gonna it's gonna be very hard to match that shit when you set the bar so high like if the nba player won three championships in his first three seasons and then the rest of his career he don't win no more championships you're gonna be like like is he really that good but it's like he won his first Three. He won three championships in his first year, first three years. That's what Eminem did. His first three albums is his best three albums. So anything after that is like, it's kind of hard to catch up to that. But I don't think it's a great album or first listen. You feel me? Now there are some standout songs. Habits, chorus is fire. Evil is stupid fire. I don't think Lucifer was that great, but I'll definitely give it a second listen. Fuel with J.I.D. is fire. Houdini is fucking ass. <laughs> that video is ridiculous. Head Honcho is fire. Temporary. I got to give that to him because that's a, um, that's a fucking incredible song to make. Like I said, I wish I could go back and fucking, you know, have like a video or, or a recording of some shit that I could listen to of my pops talking or whatever like because once somebody leave earth once somebody leave once somebody pass away bro like you can't talk to them no more so if you got a song or a fucking recording or a video or some shit that you could go back and watch that's fire that's basically what he did for Haley. that's lit um bad one that shit a banger toby i fuck with that and somebody saved me i fuck with jelly roll chorus so Right? It's not really 19 songs because you got you got three skits. So it's really 16 songs. So out of 16 songs, Habits Fire. Evil Fire. That's two. Fuel Fire. Houdini Fire. That's four. Head Honcho. That's five. Temporary. Six. Bad One. Seven. Toby. Eight. And somebody saved me. So it's 9 out of 16. That's not great. And that's not bad. That's It's just good. You get what I'm saying? It's just good. And this is just a first listen. I might come back a month later and be like, nah, this shit is fucking gas. But you get off first listen, those are the songs that stood out to me. So yeah. That's my reaction to the death of Slim Shady. Hopefully, if you do drop another album after this, come with that Marshall Mathers or that motherfucking Eminem show part two or something. Like, because that's when you on your motherfucking shit. Like, Slim Shady LP is stupid fire. But Marshall Mathers LP and the Eminem show, I think them shits is better than Slim Shady LP. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna just have to be honest. Let me know what y'all think, man. Yeah, I feel like this is a great Eminem album, a good Eminem album, or a bad Eminem album. Leave a leave a comment down below to that question. Leave a like on the video. Thanks for all the support. This is my Eminem al album reaction to the death of Slim Shady. Shout out to M, you the motherfucking GOAT. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about you. I don't care if you drop 12 shitty albums in a row. Them first three albums cannot be fucked with. And fucking Recovery is gas. Kamikaze is gas. Like, bro, you're the GOAT. I don't care what nobody say. I'm not arguing about it. I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I don't care. Like, he got the whole res. He got, he, his resume is just unbeatable. Like, it just is what it is. 
But yo, let me know what y'all think about this album down in the comments, man. Appreciate everybody that support. It's the realest album, man. It's your boy Zente. And I'm out of here. DJ. Walking on your dog ass while I'm doing good, y'all doing all bad. Moonwalking on your dog ass while I'm doing good, y'all doing all My bad. My life feel like I'm moonwalking. I ain't never really do a lot of talking, but I back it up with a bunch of work. Always rapping high C on my shirt. That be the game, won't never change. Keep grinding when they know my name. Built from the ground, can't be ashamed. Makes it sweet to see who I became. I'm still growing, there's more to see. Mind right, you can't fuck with me. Better ask Jay to a Prince D. Got rap skills to a high degree.